Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing 10 of the 93 to 94 overall elite player exchanges. Also, I want to let you guys know, I will be doing a guess who with Dom probably going up on Thursday. We're going to open up one of these packs ourselves and if you guys aren't familiar with the guess who series, basically we play each other, we have to guess who we pulled and the loser has to give away whatever they pulled. So if you going to look out for that, that'll probably be up on Thursday. But you guys can see the set, you do need three 91 to 92 overall players. Now if you're curious, the set itself costs about 150k total. Usually you can get the 91 to 92s for about 50,000 coins currently. They're, you know, sometimes you can get them for 45k, 50k. I think I bought all mine for about 50k. So we have 10 of these packs, cost me 150k. It's a 1.5 million coin pack opening. Now in terms of who can we actually pull that make me profit, Really, no 93 overall players. If I'm being honest, mostly we're trying to pull either NFL 100 players or some series reduxes. You guys can see there are some 93s, like Brandon Carr is only 100,000 coins. Uh, not a lot of these 93 overall players really go for much. I mean, Julius Peppers 179, you know, we were making a little bit of profit there. Uh, aside from him, in terms of 93s, there's really not that many. Troy Palomalu is a good pull, uh, but we can pull 94 overall players. Now, in the 94s, you can see we're basically making profit on any series Redux pool we get. If it's a 94, uh, there's only a couple, though. Mark Andrews, Michael Gallup. There's really not a lot of 94 overall players. Chris Johnson as well. Matt Burke is a 94. So there's not a ton of players to actually make profit out of this, but there is a decent amount enough where I thought we could potentially do one of these for a pack opening, and it's not guaranteed to be an L. So with that being said, let's get right into it. We do have 10 93 to 94 overall players, like I said, about 150k per pack. And if you guys like these pack or you want to see more pack openings, definitely make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below if you're not already subbed to the channel. But I'm a little bit scared. Let's get into it and see what we get. First pack here, we're going to get Redux. 93 Joe Thomas. So that's actually a really good pull right there. Of course, you guys can already see his stats. Here's also one thing I want to mention, you guys. I personally have a little dilemma here. You can see I have Walter Jones, and I want your guys' opinions on this. Let me know down below what you should do. And this doesn't just count from a left tag. This also goes for a couple other positions, like at uh, left end. I currently have Julius Peppers, but also have Reggie White. I fully expect Joe Thomas to get an Ultimate Legend card. I expect Reggie White to get an Ultimate Legend card. I expect Larry Allen to get an Ultimate Legend card. I have all those guys currently just sitting at backup, just doing nothing for me. Do I go ahead and sell them now, or do you think I should just hold on to them and wait for the Ultimate Legends? Because honestly, Walter Jones is very good, but I think that Joe Thomas would be a little bit better. I'm just not sure what to do. My Walter Jones is actually 99 overall with the chemistries and everything. Either which way, though, I'm going to hold on to this Joe Thomas card because I definitely expect that card to go up in price whenever he gets his Ultimate Legend, which probably be coming in maybe a month, two months. Not really sure. As I get a playoff card here, 93 Malcolm Jenkins. I think this is probably an L. I'm not going to lie. This is probably a big fed L. I'm not really sure how many people want Brandon Brooks. So 93 Malcolm Jenkins, that one is probably going to be a fat out. Also, if you guys are doing this with me, if you guys are opening up any packs, and know a lot of people like to open packs with me as 93 Demaryius Thomas. Yeah, that's probably a, a fat L there. Comment down below, Zerk Luck. But let's get into the next pack here, 93 Demaryius Thomas. It's not, not a good pull at all. We get a Ghost Player, so probably 93. Yikes. Josh Jacobs. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. We'll do one more pack, and let's go check and see how many coins we've lost so far. As we get a Redux, what are the odds? Literally, what are the odds? 93 overall Joe Thomas again. So we got a couple Redux pulls, two Joe Thomases, which I'm pretty sure I saw him up in the auction. Like he was going for 150k. If that's the case, that's kind of an L, because that's, oh, he's a lot cheaper, actually. So 125k currently, so that's only 250,000 coins right there between the two of them. Josh Jacobs, uh, 115, so we're looking at 365, 93 Demarius Thomas is 100k, it's just going to get worse, huh? 
just gonna get even worse 465k and again about 110k so we're looking at about 575,000 coins in about 750,000 coins worth of packs yeah so far this pack is not looking worth it at all but hopefully we can just get a 94 overall redux player let me get like a cj2k uh, another ghost player 93 elton jenkins I'm going to assume that because Josh Jacobs was 115k, he's probably about 115,000 coins. Well, this is not good, but I have an idea what we can do to kind of spice this up and give us a little bit more pack luck and we get something. So I decided why not get 20 get a gold. You guys already know, kind of a pack that I do when I used to do the Legend Fantasy packs, or I guess even I can start doing the Ultimate Fantasy packs if I do those videos for you guys on like a Sunday. I open up five get a gold player packs, and then I open up the big pack because for some reason, it seems to work. Either these packs are going to be kind of nice, but you get an 86 Jesse Bates. Pretty sure he's like 15k right now because of the Bengals set. Could be a little bit cheaper though because of the training uh, set that actually just came into the game. But it seems to work for me. As you get a gold CJ Uzama, I doubt he's going for anything. He doesn't go into that set. Another gold player, of course, only elites go into those sets, pretty sure. Fifth pack here, and then we'll get into another one of these eight. Okay, elites. 80 Marcus Gilbert. Kind of hoping to get like a charger or a bangle. But 93 to 94 pack now. Let me get a Redux. Series Redux. We get a Legend. 93 Rob Ninkovich. Probably very comparable to Demarius Thomas. Uh, maybe 100k. So that's definitely an L there. We get 81 overall Derek Nadi. So that's probably as well not a good pull. We get a Team of the Week though. 86. 77 Eric Harris. All right. So far, this is uh, this pack that is not working out too well for me. We get a gold 79 out Nelson Aguilar, so you know that's really not going good for you. We get another gold, and I think that might have been the fifth pack there. And we got one more pack. Hop into another one of these, and hopefully it'll be good. We get a Team of the Week 79 Josh Allen. Okay, 93-94 exchange. Let me get a Redux. We get an NFL 100. 94 Ed Reed. So that's exactly what you're really hoping to pull in this pack because NFL 100 players go for like 250 or so. So that actually may have brought the packs back up. So I think the method may be working here. Let's get these five get to go player packs. We also get an 83 Steve Young, probably like 6K at this point in the game. He's not really going off much at all. We get a playoff player though. Might be something good. Okay, 87 Ward. I don't know how much he's going for. Probably not a ton, but maybe a decent amount. We get a 75 Daryl Roberts right there. Next pack, we get another gold. And that's going to be a 75 Nate Soder. And final of the fifth get a gold is going to be a gold player. If it was an elite, probably I'd have like amazing pack luck. But next, 93 94. Let me get a Redux pull here. I want a 94 Redux will be set. We do get a Redux. 93 Bell. Just why, EA? Just, just why don't you love me? Why, why don't you love me? We get a 93 overall Le'Veon Bell. Five more get a gold player packs, and then we'll get into the final pack, man. The, the pack method seemed to work for me with the NFL 100 read, but we'll have to see exactly how many coins will be made as we get an 85 Juan Williams. Okay, not bad. Next, get a gold. It's, unfortunately, another gold player, but it's okay. You know, high gold will take it. Another one. We do an elite 83. Okay, AD overall, Tredavious White, and final get a go player pack, and then we'll get into the 93 to 94 overall player. We get a 78 Troy Apke, and let's get right into the 93 to 94, and then we'll see exactly how many coins we took an L on. I'm pretty sure we did, unless we get a good one, 94 Ronnie Locked. Not sure how much he's going for, because we did just have some pretty good safeties come into the game, but I think we may have broken even. I don't think we made profit, but I feel like we may have broken even, strictly because of the Ed Reed and the Ronnie Lott. So let me go ahead and check on the Ronnie Lott and also the other players, and we'll see exactly how many coins we lost. So Lott is 250. That's a great pull. 250,000 coins right there. Not bad at all. We have Le'Veon Bell. How much are you? Okay, that's actually a profit. A little bit weird. I was not expecting that. So we're at 425k. I honestly forgot how many we made with the first batch. So 425 plus, I'll say 210. So we're at 635,000 coins. So not bad. 635 plus Rob Ninkovich. Oh, 100k. So 735,000 coins. We definitely took an L. We uh, most definitely took an L. Not gonna lie. And 140k here from Elton Jenkins. So without a doubt, we definitely took an L because I know for fact the other ones. We're a big fat L, so that's a little bit disappointing, but, you know, 
it happens. So I just checked again on all their prices and added it all up. We got to 1.4 million coins. So that's before taxes, of course. So after tax, really about 1.26 million. So I'd say we lost around 250k off doing this pack opening. But yeah, I mean, was it worth the risk? Probably not. Do I recommend those packs? Probably not. But you can always get lucky and pull yourself a Ronnie Lott, a Deion Sanders, and Ed Reed and make 250k off the 150,000 coins you pulled or you spent. Or you could get a Rob Ninkovich, an Elton Jenkins, a Josh Jacobs, who go for around 120,000 coins. So really, my opinion, probably not worth it to do. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Also, let me know down below, did you guys open up any of these packs? And if you have opened up any of these 93-94 overall player packs, comment down below. The reason I actually did this video is because someone tweeted me them doing one of these packs. And I think they pulled a Dion. I'm pretty sure they pulled a Dion Sanders. So it made me think... Why not give it a shot? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.